their scallop squash. And they had a lot of squash bugs on them. last week with eggs. I got all the eggs off I could find, so we're going to look mainly underneath the leaves. For signs of the eggs, which here we go. We got them right here. The eggs, two clusters here and here. And if they're really bad, that's the only one I see on this one. So we'll just remove these and put them in this bucket of soapy water. Just scrape them off. I don't think it hurts to just tear the part of the leaf off either. So those are gone. That's all I see on that one. All right, we just had one little batch on this one. Looks good. They can be on the stems too. That one looks good. There they are. See those? The little squash bug eggs. The little boogers. In here, this is going to be a problem all year. There, I'm just going to tear the leaf. And they're gone. Look at that first leaf. Off of that leaf. We're still going through each plant individually, looking on the back of the leaves and on the stems. There's some more. Looking for the patches of eggs. Last week we did our first spray treatment. And that consisted of um, dish detergent, neem oil, N-E-E-M, and water. What was the measurements that you mixed? I put one ounce of neem oil per gallon of water. And I mixed like one tablespoon of dish soap. Okay, and Dawn, I think... Dawn dishwashing detergent per gallon. So we sprayed each plant last week. What we've read, this will be an ongoing process to keep the infestation of the squash bugs down. We had a little find here. Also in the process adults. of looking for those squash bugs. Or the eggs. There, we found two adults. There's two adults. And they're, they're the ones making all these eggs. They appear to be making eggs right at the moment. Yes. <laughs> Oh, well, so this is the what a squash bug looks like. Squash bug having fun. See you, they, buddy. They look a lot like stink bugs, but they love the squash, and they like pumpkins. So Here's another one. You do not want these little critters. Put them in the bath of the soapy suds. Huh. That's the first adult ones we've seen. We must have found the, their happy little home. There's also a process we read where you can put a shingle and a board out in your area and at night the bugs will get into that, um, get up under it. So the next day you can just come out and kill what's got into the board or the shingle. They like to get up underneath 
those type things. So that's another thing that we've researched. We have not tried that yet. And here's an example of a patch of eggs on actually on the stem, not on the leaf. Yeah, hard. <coughs> Probably no way to get them off. 